In summer 2019, a massive series of severe wildfires affected the worst war-torn areas in the world. The Middle East. Wheat cultivation was historically the main factor in stabilizing the Middle East. Destructing its agriculture is eliminating the last hope of any future stabilization. Without a proper food security and self-sufficiency, the current humanitarian crisis could significantly increase. Again, the locals were the unfortunate victims. There is a lack of equipment besides the shortage of appropriate training. In addition to many deadly wars, refugee crisis, poverty, and violence. The Middle East has now a big wildfire problem. This map from NASA shows us the situation of wildfire in summer 2019. Wildfire is destabilizing the remaining infrastructure besides the necessities of life. AFA, United for Fire Awareness, is helping and training people how to respond to wildfire in the future. In this video we will learn about wildfire and how to prevent it in the future. Also we're going to learn how to respond to the future fire disasters. While this is obvious, understanding the three elements of fire triangle will help to show the future possibilities. These elements are heat, fuel, and oxygen. Wildfire is a fire which is burning strongly and out of control on an area of grass or bushes in the countryside. The spread of fire fall under complicated dynamic systems. Fire propagation is changing regarding the wind and other factors. In the open areas like wheat fields, fire spread can be extremely fast. Wind and humidity are the main players here. However, the changing wind direction will have even more stronger effect. The steepness of slope influences fire behavior. Fire moves more quickly upslope than downhill. This is because the flames are closer to fuels on the uphill side, which preheats them. Wildfire suppression requires trained crews, equipment, and many different techniques, such as rehabilitation, direct and indirect attack, and mop up. Fire stations play obviously the most effective role. Besides upgrading the current departments, new ones should be established. Decentralized fire stations can reduce the distance to the fire area. These new locations should be located in the most affected areas. In many cases having a clear view on conflagration zone is not possible. Use fire lookout towers to have a better observation. There are even cheaper versions of these fire lookout towers, such as simple tripods of wooden poles. While it is really expensive to purchase and maintain firefighter trucks, building a mini truck pumper is more affordable. These can be installed during fire season. Establishing local water tanks for fighting wildfire is fundamental. These silos should mostly be located in the remote areas. Fighting wildfire is not much to extinguish flames as to contain the affected area. Water is still a necessity for sure. In fact, it's almost impossible without any use of water. Fire breaks are the gaps in vegetation that act as a barrier to slow down or stop the wildfire. Most effective fire lines are wide roads. However, hedges of trees can also work as a fire break. It's important to keep a wide distance between vegetation areas. Constructing fire breaks can be done using local material like gravel, sand or anything not suitable for vegetation. Overgrown wheat is the perfect fuel for a wildfire. Prevent the overgrown crops by harvesting them early. In case of shortage in combines, you may only harvest the edges of your field. Despite being one of the poorest regions in the Middle East, it has however, big oil reserves. Taking safety measures in order to protect pump jacks and crude oil pipelines is crucial. While wildfire is seasonal, it's crucial to depend on the trained volunteer firefighters besides the permanent crews. Volunteering offers many benefits to the community and ensures the sustainability of the fire department. Never throw cigarette butts out of the car window. Put out the campfire and picnic fire as this video shows. 
Covering the remaining ash with soil can lead to a potential wildfire. Use multiple ways to extinguish the fire completely. In case of wildfire you should call the fire department. And never try to extinguish a big fire alone. You must check if somebody needs help. Evacuate the area with your family. Giving way to emergency vehicles is very important. Pull your car over to the side of the road and stop as soon as you see their lights or hear the sirens. Make sure that all the emergency vehicles are gone before you drive again. Please follow the rules of the local traffic department in your country. One of the fundamental procedures to extinguish the fire is delimiting its ravaged zone. However, using agricultural machinery such as combine harvester can be serious life-threatening. Use UAVS to observe and being able control the fire zone from above. This helps for better wildfire emergency management. The fire flapper is a simple tool to combat wildfires. It is easy to handle and to transport both in the vehicle and on site. The limiting factor of using fire flappers is the flame height. If the flames are higher than 1.5 meters, it would be a big risk to use them instead of water. Make sure to extinguish the flames completely before leaving the fire site. It is important to remove the nearby flammable materials, such as fuels, before starting the process of extinguishing. Teamwork is the main key when we use fire flapper. The two groups should work at the same time from both sides, left and right, to suppress the fire completely. There are two mistakes in this photo. Using the water to mop up while the flames are still active. In this case using the fire flapper have the same effect as water. The second mistake is not working in groups. Cutting off the oxygen from a fire will extinguish it. Using hand tools such as fire blanket is effective to extinguish the small and medium-sized fires. Always extinguish the flames with the direction of the air and not the opposite. Keep a safe distance from fire. Also, start extinguishing from the sides and not from the middle. Extinguishing must be from the bottom of the flames and not the top. Teamwork is the key in firefighting. The groups have to be well organized. Firefighting is extremely dangerous. Firefighters wear a range of protective equipment to help protect them during their work. Each item either protects their body or helps to perform their duties. Turn out jacket and pants. Firefighting gloves. Fire helmet. Face mask. Firefighting hood. Belts. Firefighting boots. And many other equipment. Establishing a crisis support helpline helps in managing emergency calls and controlling processing fire-related data. These dispatch centers are labor-intensive and costly, however, their prospective impact is definitive. Analyze and compare fire data using statistics. It's important to collect and process all the data related to wildfire and its conditions. There are reliable databases from NASA or the EU Science Hub. Getting ready for the next wildfire is the main goal. Besides purchasing new equipment and preparing qualified crews, facilities building and self-establishing can start right now. You can contribute to our content yourself. Choose how to become a part of our team regarding your profession. Under offa.info you can discover how to participate and create the content with us.